New at 9, 136 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. That's according to the CDC. It's a national problem that's hitting home right here in the natural state. But as Katrin Asaf discovered, the city of Hot Springs is fighting the opioid crisis in its own way by battling drug addiction one person at a time. She joins us live in studio this evening with more. Katrin. Kevin, Donna, the Hot Springs Police Department told us today that many addictions start with prescribed medications, opioids taken for pain relief that spiral into a need. The goal of the department's latest effort is to meet addicts where they are and stop the chain of addiction before it leads to more dangerous drugs or even death. Sean Willits is used to talking with people. Since 2019, this former drug addict has worked in recovery centers, meeting those with addiction as they fight to get clean. Somebody stands in front of them and tells them you need to get your life together, but they've never been there. It, they just close their mind. He knows firsthand what it takes to impact someone's life and has made it his mission to be that change. If you want to help these people, uh, you need to have somebody who knows about addiction. Now, Willits is the first peer recovery support specialist at the Hot Springs Police Department, a new position created in the station's effort to stop addiction. It's educating the public, educating the, the addicted. Corporal Jesus Anaya has been on the other side, seeing the damage narcotics can do as he investigates overdose deaths. We're here to help them get out of that mentality that they need the opioids. His experience has helped in the new outreach program, one of six across the state funded by a grant from the Arkansas Drug Director. The approach is a mental one. Continually arresting the same individual for the same charges is, is not helping them understand why they're addicted and, and what their issues are. Focusing on the root of addiction rather than the consequence, an approach that Willits has dealt with before. I got the most uh, from what they had to say than I did out of what anybody had to say. So. But the department isn't just dealing with those recovering. They're also using this platform to educate the public. Not look at those people as if they're dirty, horrible human beings because that is one of the reasons that some of these people don't seek help. And stop the stigma halting change in Hot Springs. And speaking of stopping the stigma, HSPD is hosting a kickball game coming up on July 31st, meant to break down stereotypes and engage in some friendly competition. The theme, kicking the stigma. The public is, of course, encouraged to attend. Reporting in studio, I'm Katrin Asaf. Back to you.